everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going back to recreating Hypixel. I think we're on part six or seven now. And today we are going to work on actually saving our player data. Uh, if you don't remember in the last video, we went ahead and set up our MySQL database. So in this video, we're just going to actually make this data save. So then in the future series, we can actually pull that information um, and update and edit it as we need. We're going to be using a profile system for this. I have done this in a previous coding on spigot video. Um, I am going to kind of do the same type of setup in this one. Um, so if you've seen it already, you may want to just skip to the next episode that will come out in a couple days. I am going to be back to back recording some of these, so there will be a new episode soon. Um, but I am going to go ahead and use a profile system. What this does is it allows um, us to cache data without sending it to MySQL right away. So what we would do is while you are on the server, it's gonna go ahead and save everything to your profile. And then when you leave the server or transfer servers to another server on a Bungie Core network, it's gonna go ahead and save that data to MySQL then, or send it through Redis if you're not leaving the network. Um, and it won't have to pull from the database again. We're not gonna set up Redis in this video either. We're just gonna focus on the MySQL data saving. And while we don't exactly know how Hypixel handles it, just given all their sources closed, obviously, I'm going to assume they use a system kind of like this with MongoDB though, instead of MySQL, which caches the data so they don't have to do so many pulls from the database. It's kind of just common knowledge on how some servers do it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So just like we did in um, previous videos, we're gonna go ahead and create a new class and this is gonna be called Profile Manager. And what this class is gonna actually do is it's gonna be what loads our profile and what we're gonna actually use it for. And we're gonna extend our manager. If you don't remember what this does, all it does is it goes ahead and pulls and enables things. We're gonna keep this exactly default. We're not gonna do anything with that little startup method. We're gonna go ahead and actually do all that in the on enabled method. And we are going to create a map at the top, which is gonna be handling all of our profiles. And we're gonna do a UUID, and then we're gonna call profile as the other argument here. We don't have the profile class yet, so I'm gonna leave that blank. And then it's gonna be profiles equal new, and it's gonna be a hash map just like this perfect i don't think you yeah you still do need that um so we'll go ahead and save this i'll go ahead and import uuid it's just the default java uuid i'll leave profile blank for the moment and this is going to error because we don't have our profile class which we're going to go in and create now so i'm going to go in and create my profile class and just call it profile and then i can go ahead and import it back in our profile manager there we go it's imported successfully we can import map there we go it's no longer erring so Let's talk about our profile class. What we're going to do is we're going to call the same type of thing we've been doing in the other classes. We're going to call a few things. We're going to call our core instance, which is our, um, I believe we just call it core. Yeah. So we're going to call our core instance. That way we can hook into it as needed. We are going to pull the player name. We're going to play, pull the player's UUID. And then we're going to pull the player's data. And we can also add things like player states here for future parts. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to call private and then we're going to call core. And then it's going to be called plugin equals whatever the core instance it's core dot get instance in our case keep it very easy there and then we're going to go ahead and pull um the uid and the name so we'll do a private i cannot type here wow i can really not type private and then i'm just going to call directly um to the uid just to prevent any issues here so i'm going to do uid and then i'm going to go ahead and call private string player name make sure you are spelling all this out correctly because um, you want to make sure you do this where it's lowercase and uppercase. That's the proper way of doing it. Obviously, every developer has their own way of doing it. But just in our case, we're going to do that. And then we're going to actually write public. And then we're going to do profile. And this is going to be what it calls when you call this class. And then we're once again going to do java.utility.uuid. Because that's the first thing we're going to pull. And then we're going to do string name. Just like that. So that when we call the profile, we're going to send their UUID and the string for the user. We'll do this dot UUID equals UUID just like this. And then this dot player name equals name. Perfect. And then obviously in a minute, we're going to have our player data and I'll go ahead and do that player data. So this dot data equals new. We ha don't have the player data class yet, but we will soon. And that player data class is going to take the UUID in the name. Um, so that will error for now, but we're going to leave that right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and do a um, quick getter at the top of this class so we don't actually have to manually write it all out, which is always a cool way of doing it. So now we're going to be able to call these things from the other classes, which is kind of what we wanted to do in the first place. Now, just to keep things easy, we'll go ahead and add our private uh, and then it's going to be private. It's actually going to be 
player data in this case. Um, so we're going to do player. I cannot type today. Data equals data, just like that. Perfect. Uh, this is erroring. Let's see why it's erroring. Identifier expected. Ah, yes, because I forgot to put UUID there. Perfect. All right, there we go. So our player data is erroring because we don't have the player data class. But if we go back to our profile manager, it is no longer erroring. So we can continue working on this now. So to save time, I went ahead and pasted in the code from my profile creation on my other plugin tutorials. Um, so this is just handling the profile creation. When a player joins, we're going to call this and then it will create a new profile. It will get the profile. We don't have this yet. It is going to allow us to get players in a certain player state. We don't have that. We can ignore it. And then we have a get profiles and set profiles option as well. I could just add a getter to the top, but I keep those lined out just for a little bit of uh, easy sakes. Um, so there we go. Perfect. We have our profile manager. We have our profile. Now we don't need to set up our player data. This is a class that is actually going to handle pretty much everything we're going to do. So we're going to create a player data class. Player data. Perfect. You can see this error has not gone our way. And inside this player data class, we're going to store a few things. We're once again going to copy and uh, keep our core plugin in here. So we get our plugin instance. Um, we're also going to take the UUID and the player name, just like we did in the other class, just to keep things pretty easy. And then we're going to call exactly what we also called in the profile class. You can see the UUID in the string. So we're going to call exactly that again, the UUID and the string, and we're going to make them be the same as up here, exactly like we did in the other class. Now you can see the profile class is no longer erroring. So when the profile is created, it's going to give this data and we can use it in here, which is awesome. Now you may be wondering, how do we actually set data? We're going to do that in a minute. That's going to be our next step. So why don't we go ahead and do that? This is where we're going to keep all data for this. Um, so any data we want to keep of any type of um, integer or anything else based upon what we have in our table. So you can see we have our table of name, gold, network level, EXP, rank, etc. We're going to go ahead and create in here, which is a cool thing. So why don't we start with our um, network level, which is our XP. I think it's called XP, right? Let's see. Network level we called no EXP and network level are different. So why don't I go ahead and paste this in? I kind of set this up earlier and I'll just call this network level and then I'll change this to network level. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class and we are going to set a getter getter and setter at the top of this class as well. Um, so we're going to call a new class called network level. And what this network level and what this class is going to do is it's actually going to be the type of data that we are saving. Um, and in this case, it is going to be a just a class with a call for amount and stuff like that. So we're going to create a new class and this class where you're going to call network level. Just like that. We are once again going to paste in our getter and setter at the top of this class. But we're going to go ahead and change a few things. We are literally just going to paste in this. It's going to have the amount, increase, decrease, get, and set amount. What this is doing is any integer. We can call this for any integer. It's the amount, increase, decrease, get amount, set amount. Now, to keep things easier, I could just change this to be integer. And that is actually what I'm going to do. So to just rename this to integer, because this can be reused as many times as we want. So we're just call this an integer. And then we're going to go over to our player data class. Um, and as you can see, it's now calling new int. Um, and this integer is network level. Um, and now what we can do is anytime a player's profile is created through the profile manager, it's going to call all this data. So they're going to have a network level within their profile manager. I hope that kind of makes sense. I can explain a little bit more in the future if needed, but that is pretty much how it works. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually create the player data. So we're going to create three things here. What we're going to do is we're going to do public void load player player. So we're going to use the player's data and we're just going to go ahead and save this here. I'm going to do public void save. Same thing, player player. Just like that. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to either create the data if it doesn't exist or it's going to save and load the data. Um, so let's do this real quick. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to load the data. So we're going to select from whatever our MySQL manager, whatever our table is. So our table in this case is called player. Perfect. So we're going to call from player where the UUID equals whatever our result is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and try a result set. And if you don't know what this is, it's going to actually try to get whatever we have in here. And so far, we only have what we set up in here. We have our network level EXP rank, but all we've set up in this class is our network level. So I'll go in and paste that in for now. So we're going to do network level set amount, get integer, 
the name of the network level just like this um and then we're gonna go ahead and i don't know if we're storing the name of the player let's see we are storing the name of the player so what we also are going to do is every time that we pull this data we're going to have to set the player's name in the database in case they have changed it depending on um whatever they're doing um and then we're going to do an else method here because if the player has never been on the server it's not going to be able to load any of this information so what we're going to do is we're going to actually create and execute something on a on the mysql database so we're going to execute a query and this query is going to be insert into player and then it's going to be exactly what we have over here it's going to be uuid name gold network level exp rank so we're going to do uuid name network level gold rank just like that and then we're going to do values space and then the however many questions marks so one two three four five so we'll do five question marks two three four five just like that perfect so what this is doing is i'll explain real quick is this is going to ahead and calling all of these um values and we're going to fill them up so our uuid is going to be the player dot get unique id dot to string make sure to do to string otherwise it's not going to print correctly the name is player dot get name very easy and then our integers are network level gold rank network level default is one gold will be zero we don't have our rank yet but it will be a string so i'll just leave it blank or set it to none whatever we want to say and that is all we have to do here go ahead and close that off perfect so let's go over what we just did real quick um also make sure to add a catch exception method at the bottom here otherwise it will not work um because you know it just you know picky picky thing um and then what you have to remember to do is at the bottom here you're going to go ahead and do the player dot get united address to string the reason you're doing this is because you are asking for the th uh method to load data from a player with this certain thing if it doesn't find it it will create it um so that's pretty much all we have to do in this class which is pretty nice um we have loaded the data and we have set the update network level to whatever the network level is in the database and we have set it to default by one if you haven't done that um, so we're going to have to expand on this in the future. I'm sorry I'm kind of rushing through this. I have a lot of stuff to do tonight, so I wanted to get this out, though. Um, so we have gone ahead and done that. And when we go ahead and talk about saving data, it's pretty much the same thing, but we're just updating. So what we're going to do is when we want to save the data, we're going to go ahead and do a instance. We're going to execute an update for player, and you're going to do set and then network level. For our case, we're not going to update the name. There's no reason to. Network level equals question mark. Um, and then you're going to do where UUID equals question mark. And then when you close the statement, what you're going to do is you're going to do network level. Network level dot get amount. And then whatever your UID is. So player dot get unique ID dot to string. Just like that. So let's go over what we just did here. So for the save method, we are updating the player table, setting the network level, wherever the UID equals that player to the one that was on the server before it was uh, loaded or after it was loaded. So whatever you change in here after the data is loaded will then get saved whenever we call the save method. Now we can actually go ahead and set this up so we can actually save the data um, when the player leaves and joins the server, which is kind of what we were trying to do in the first place. So. Why don't we talk a little bit about how that works um, because it's going to be interesting. So we're going to have to create an event um, and I'm going to do this inside. There's a lot of classes I could do this in. I'm going to put it here, um, implements listener. We'll just go ahead and keep it all in one class for now. Um, so this is going to be a couple things. We're going to have to load the data when the player joins the server and we're going to have to create the profile because remember we need to handle the profile creation on join. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new event handler down here and it's going to be on the async pre login event. The reason we're doing this is because it has to log in before the player actually hits the server. It has to create that profile. If it doesn't do that, it's not going to work correctly. So just keep that in mind. And then our second event is going to be the on join event. And this event is going to get the profile manager, create the profile and then load the data for the player. So you can see it's going to call this uh, async because you never load anything on the main cores. Um, so you're going to load it async wherever I was um, and it's going to load all of the data from here. You can see it's now being used. 
perfect exactly how we wanted it to be which is awesome um now remember we also have to save the data so we're going to add one more event which is our on quit event we're going to get the profile and we're going to go ahead and save the data for the player those are the events to handle our profiles which is awesome now we got to go to our core plugin over here and we're going to actually set it up so we call these methods how they're supposed to be called otherwise it's not going to work so a couple things we're going to have to do we're going to have to add profile manager to the top here which also means we have to add it down here. So profile manager equals new profile manager. Perfect. Um, and then remember, you have to create the profile manager before you actually do anything with the profile data. But luckily, all we have to do in our main class is the profile manager. We don't have to use profile data or, or anything. We are all good. So we have set it up successfully where everything is going to save how it's supposed to. So if we go ahead and build our plugin, I'm going to go ahead and launch it in game and we can check our database to see if it worked properly. One thing I did notice that we missed out on when I was first setting this up is we never registered any of our events. So make sure to do that as well. So what you're going to do for that is get server dot get plugin manager register events. Um, and then you're going to do wherever your class is. So we're going to do um, our new profile manager and it's going to be this because this is the plugin which we are registering for the event, which is pretty cool. Um, so, oh, not profile manager, sorry. It's player data is where all of our listeners are. So there we go, player data. And then if it does error, you can just add a new pl public player data without any reason and just close it off there. So now you can see it is not erroring in here. So get server, get plugin manager, register event, player data. Now, if we go ahead and save, rebuild this project, and then I go ahead and Throw it in our plugins folder. Perfect. It's reloaded there. Throw it in our plugins folder. I can restart our server. And when we start up here, I join and leave the server. Remember, it's not going to save to the database the first time you join the server. But I'm going to go ahead and join the server. Then I'm going to go ahead and leave the server. Refresh my SQL. We now save our UUID, our name, gold, network level, EXP, and our rank. So thank you so much for watching today's video, everyone. Um, new videos coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The city of mine, it never gets me down, city of mine.